Hey everybody, it's Ryan Groffin with Pilot Rhino. I'm getting over a little cold, so sorry if it sounds like this. I wanted to just give you guys all an update. It has been a long time since I've posted a video. It's been a long time since I've worked on the plane. I'm studying for my instrument rating right now, and I made a promise with myself that I will not touch the airplane until I pass the instrument written. We had some travel in early October, and then the, the fuselage kit came. I'm gonna give you a tour of that. And then I got really busy with work, and then I started studying for the instrument, and then we had the holidays, and I am like knee deep in instrument study right now. So that's what I've been working on. Let me tell you, for those of you who've taken the test, I think you'll understand this. For those of you who haven't yet, um, I'm a business coach, and so I subscribe to a lot of you know, mind over matter, got to be mentally strong. There's a lot of really cool tactics and techniques and things that I use and that I teach. But I am telling you right now, if I did not know that hundreds of thousands of people have passed the instrument test, I would make the argument that it is an impossible test to pass. It is the hardest thing I've ever studied for. Um, it has taken more time than I have ever imagined possible. And I'm still not getting the scores that I want on the test. Um, I went through the Sporties instrument course, which was okay. It wasn't great. It gave a very high level overview. Um, and now I'm doing the Shepherd Air test prep. And the Shepherd Air test prep is really helping a lot. And there are wonderful people over there. I've had to call with some questions and they've gotten CFIs on the phone and helped me out. And I've reached out to my CFII, obviously, um, who I'm going to be doing the last portion of the flying with. I've got all my flying requirements done. We're just gonna, once I pass the written test, then we're just gonna go hard and heavy into that last, like we're gonna just do like approaches after approaches after approaches and holdings and all that just to get ready for it. But um, anyways, I, I, I've been working on this for a long time. I've been working on this for about a year on and off, just kind of watching videos and stuff. But then like the last two weeks have literally been like every three minute I've had taking tests, going through the Shepherd Air program, um, so hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'll get some more videos up for you guys. I'm about three or four videos behind from when I was working on the airplane that I need to get out. And then I want to start working on the fuselage. But in the meantime, let me show you the airplane and give you an update on some stuff here. So for one, as you can tell, the fuselage has arrived. I'm sure there was a video up before this, but this is the cabin top. Um, this is a gentleman here in town built this aluminum jig situation that once the fuselage is built these fit into the wing spars and then you use temporary bolts and then there's a tail wheel so the whole fuselage is kind of down low and you can roll it around so i'm excited about that uh cabin top i took wood from the the pallets that they delivered and i made a, a spray table um because i'm going to do a little more priming than i've been doing on the fuselage just because I am worried about drinks spilling, moisture, things like that. But I basically, I don't have a design or anything for this. I just start cutting up wood. But basically what I did is I created this table with this kind of chicken wire so I could spray on it. And then I found these little clip things. I think this is pretty cool. Oh, I'm having a hard time with one hand there. Uh, there we go. So then you just snap this in here. And then with some wire, you can hang parts off of it to spray them. So I'm pretty excited about that. That's my son's Oculus. I also took the EAA fiberglass class. And let me tell you what a great class that was. <clears throat> we learned a lot of cool things. We made a fairing like this for, I mean, this was just a demo. It's not going to fit on the airplane, but teaches you how to make stuff like this for the airplane. So you can either repair or make them. And then we did a really cool exercise where we did um, the method of joining the windshield to the fuselage. Uh, and I'm super happy with how this process came out and the whole thing there. And so definitely a class I highly recommend. But again, I'm all set for the first page. Um, we don't need the knee pads. I'm all set for the first page. I just need to pass the instrument written. 
um, for the first page of the fuselage test, sorry. So there is a service bulletin because my center spar was built before 2021. And so now there's a couple of modifications and some drilling that I have to do. So that's out there so I don't forget. We've got the, the main wing or the landing gear supports. These are beefy, obviously. It's going to hold the whole airplane. Center spar. And then just I've got all my parts up there. I've got a few big pieces like under the bed, like the firewall and stuff is under my bed in the house. And I've gotten a little more organized now. I have filled up three of these containers with rivets and stuff. I've got some different parts that are organized. More stuff up here. So just getting ready. And obviously we need to put Christmas away up there. But that's about it, guys. Um, yeah, love to, love to help you with anything if you have any questions or need any help. Um, Otherwise, I'll give you guys an update as soon as I have. It'll probably be about another two or three weeks until I take the written and pass it and then get to work on the airplane. Bye-bye.